Birmingham. Look at this smile. Happily, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> I am able to uh, uh, welcome the Prime Minister's commitment to the reform of the European Convention on Human Rights and the parts of the European Court on Human Rights. Um, and will the Prime Minister give a commitment to allow this House a proper debate whenever the uh, uh, Brighton Declaration is published? And will he ensure that, uh, once again, the principle of subsidiarity is respected and the British courts have a proper say in what goes on in this country? Well, I do want to see the principle of subsidiarity get a fairer hearing uh, at Strasbourg. That was what was really contained in the speech I made uh, at the Council of Europe about the reform of the court, so that it doesn't become a court of the fourth instance, where someone's already been in front of a, a local court, a court of appeal, a Supreme Court in their own country, and then to the ECHR. So we do have proposals for reform. Clearly, what is debated I I in this House, we now have the backbench committee that has an enormous number of Perhaps they will give over time. Not enough, I hear. They've got, they've got more than enough, in my view, and they can make over a day for that debate.